Hi everyone, I am Srisha Ivarajan from Grade 6 day and I am studying in Dr. Dasratan International School. Today I am taking the topic Leaf and also I am going to include Root System and the Shoot System with the topic Leaf. Root System A root is an underground part of the plant which grows below the soil and it helps in anchoring the plant in one, in one place and also helps in absorbing the water and nutrients from the soil. Now let's understand the types of root system. There are two types of root system, tap root and fibrous root. Tap root contains a thick primary root and many branches and root has coming through it. But on fibrous root on the other hand doesn't contain any primary root and contains many branches and root hairs. Now let's talk about shoot system. The shoot system is the part of the plant which grows above the soil. It contains flowers, fruits, stems, leaves, buds, branches and etc. Now as we have understood the shoot system, let's understand the main part of the shoot system, the stem. The stem is the main arterial part of the shoot system. It helps in carrying um, new water and nutrients for the plant for its growth. Now let's talk about the most important and the interesting part of the plant, the leaf. The flat green part of the plant is called as the leaf. Wait, did I say green? Yes, but most most of the leaves are green because of the pigment called chlorophyll, but not all are green. Some leaves are in various colors because of other pigments. We'll understand it later. Now, let's understand the structures of the leaf. Lamina is the flat green part of the leaf where photosynthesis happens. It is connected to the midrib which extends as the petiole which connects the leaf to the plant. As I said, there are many types of leaf and they are classified by their shape, size, margin and arrangement. Now let's understand them. Leaves can be classified into simple and compound. Simple leaves are the leaf which in which the lamina is not divided. Compound leaves are the leaf in which their lamina is divided into small parts and the small parts are called as leaflets. Leaves can also be classified based on their shape. Some of, uh, some of the most common shape are needle shaped leaf which is seen in pine, oval shaped in apple, heart shaped in people, oblong in banana, circular in nastronium, tapering in eucalyptus. The given image shows the other type shapes of the leaf. Let's see some of the varieties based on the margin. The most common are wavy margins, sinuate, serrate, lobate, lobed, scallop, palmet and dentate. The given picture shows how the margin, uh, how are the margins uh, are present in the leaf. The leaves can also be classified based on their phyllotaxy. So phyllotaxy means the arrangement of leaves. What are the different types of arrangements? Alternate, opposite, world, two road, rosettes, phyllotaxies are the types of phyllotaxies which we use to classify leaves. Now let's see how are leaves classified based on their venation. The venations are reticulate, parallel and furcate. The example of reticulate venation is papaya and the, and the, and the example of parallel venation is bamboo. And the examples of furcate venations is fan palm. Now let's understand about the functions of the leaf. The most common functions are photosynthesis, transpiration and gutation. Photosynthesis 
is the process of making food while transpiration is the process of evaporation through stomata glutation refers to the water squeezed out of the apex part of the leaf because of excess absorption by the roots now let's understand about photosynthesis one of the most important process it, this process takes part in the leaf in this process light light carbon dioxide and water is converted into a valuable oxygen and glucose for the growth of the plant now let's also talk about transpiration the exhalation of water vapor through the stomata is known as transpiration now as we talked about the types of leaf and the functions of it let's uh, talk about the modifications some of the common modifications of leaf tendrils coil like structures which are which helps the plant to climb spines for the safety of the plant and scaly leaves for storing food now let's talk about one of the most interesting topics insectivorous plants these leaves are modified into small pockets and bladders to trap insects uh, and to digest them to get the vitamins from them this is done because the soil they grow lacks in vitamins so we all have known that plants reproduce through seeds and vegetables but plants also reproduce through leaves such in in bryophyllum where there are small buds along the apex of along the leaf margin and when they when those buds fall out of the leaf they reproduce so thanks everyone for watching this video hope you've enjoyed and learned something new from this please subscribe and like the video don't forget to comment down below what would you like us to present next bye bye